Hi, I'm Julie Johnson with Firebox Training. Today I'd like to show you how to use your JBoss tools to automatically use JSF2 as opposed to JSF 1.2 when you create a file. So let's go ahead and go to Window and Preferences. We're already making the assumption that you've installed your JBoss tools. And you'll find right under here, under Web, JBoss Tools Web, under JSF, and then Project, you'll find the version. So here, I'll say JSF 2.0. And we have several choices here. I'll do JSF blank with live, so it includes the lives it needs. Use default path for the workspace, and we'll use the servlet version of 3.0. Register web content in server.xml. On here, servlet version, let's make sure that we use 3.0 there as well. And now we can apply those changes. Okay, now let's go to JBoss Tools Web Editors. And here, always use JBoss Tools Editors with Open Option. That allows us to right click on one of the files and open it with JBoss. And under here, we have Visual Page Editor. And here we have Code Templates. And you'll see that we have several templates to choose from out of the box. We have blank facelit page, blank JSF page, and if you want to modify any of these, it's not a problem. All you need to do is select the one you're interested in, and then just say Edit, and make whatever modifications you want to, and then save it. So now when we hit OK, we can now create a new dynamic web application, web project, I should say, and we'll just call this My Test Application. And let's make this a Java Server Faces 2.0 project. So this will automatically configure the web.xml to include the necessary uh, you know, uh, entries for pointing to JSF. Generate the web.xml deployment descriptor. And here under Library Configuration, we're going to use a user library. Um, I've already configured a user library called Rich Faces 4. It actually con contains all the stuff, all the libraries you need for Rich Faces, uh, plus JSF and everything else, even bean validation. The URL mapping pattern is star.faces. Okay, so we'll hit finish on here. Now we expand this. Here's our web content. We have a little exclamation mark here, and that's just a little warning. If we look at the source for our web.xml, we're pointing to all these welcome files that don't exist. So we can just get rid of that, and that's fine. Let's right click on web content and say new, and this is xhtml page. This is associated with the JBoss editor, and we'll just call this new file.xhtml, and this is where we're referencing those templates that we have access to and that we can modify. So I'm going to create a blank Rich Faces page and then hit Finish. And now here's the stub code right in here. If I want to put some A4J logging in there to see information about any AJAX requests on the page, I can drag that right in here. I like to place it right before my closing body tag. We're not going to mess around with a faces config file, so I'll just delete that file. We'll save what we have, and now we'll run it. Always use the server when running the project. There's our application, and now we hit finish. I can pull this up, and you can see what's going on on the server console area. And here we have it. This is a rich faces page using the JBoss editor. Okay, now going back to our new file right here, you'll see that I have all these options. It's a little overwhelming on the right hand side. What we're actually looking at is the web page editor. If we take our new file, right click and say open with JBoss Tools HTML editor, you'll see that we have fewer choices, it's less overwhelming, so if you want to use this as your option uh, for opening, you can do that. In fact, if you want to make that the default, you can just go to Window, Preferences, and let's take a look at our General, 
editors, file associations, and let's find our XHTML and we can select JBoss tools and make that the default. Okay, so now you'll see that this icon has changed and when I double click on it, it opens up the JBoss editor. Well, I hope you got a lot out of this video tutorial. Please visit our website at www.fireboxtraining.com.